Hey there, it's Jenny from Southern Savers. Glad to have you all join me tonight. It's time for our Monday night Q&A, which is, you can make it Stump Jenny, you can make it whatever you'd like. We're gonna talk about apps that save you money uh, in the grocery store, wherever. It's kind of the number one question that I get when we do a hangout, is we always end up on, can we talk more about the apps? Can you explain more about this? And Apps are probably the newest part of couponing, really. If, for those of us who've been at this for 10 plus years, which is my category now, I don't know how many of us there are in that category that are watching a QA. and a um, but for me, that's how long we've been couponing. Uh, and the biggest change definitely is everything that's online and all of the apps that are available for us to be using as phones become bigger and better. Um, I always ha have to have like a prop to hold. So my husband went and found me uh, an old iPhone. And I don't even know if it does anything, um, but I can at least hold it as we go through. I have my, my uh, handy trusty uh, little, you know, I don't know, it's like a security blanket. But that's what we're gonna talk about is apps that save you money, but I'm always cool with whatever questions have that so plug those in to the comments if you're watching or into the chat room if you're watching on the Google Hangout. Uh, either place is fine. I am completely cool with wherever you want to watch. It's fun to be able to kind of dual stream and have even more people join in. Um, but we definitely, you know, want to get to the questions. So I will hop around to be able to do that even if they're not mobile app related. Just ask whatever questions you have. To jump into mobile apps though, what I want to get across is that the main apps that we're talking about tonight are going to be apps that offer coupons, that offer the extra savings. So you go to the store, you buy a participating item, and this is like coupons to use. All of the mobile apps that are out there, all of them, uh, in terms of real mobile couponing apps, do not come off at the register. So I go into the store, I buy the item the way I plan to buy the item in the store, I can even use a coupon in the store, that is huge, and then I come home and I use the mobile apps. So this is like an extra layer of savings. You bought it on sale, that was goal number one, then you used a coupon, then I came home and I used a mobile app. So that's why we want to be kind of tuning into these because you're missing like layer three. Uh, if we want to think about it like a game, you're missing the whole next level. Uh, but for some of us, it can be a pretty huge savings. An example uh, would be at CVS this week to kind of throw this one out to start us because one of the easiest apps to use is Saving Star. So we're going to go to Saving Star first. Saving Star works at almost every store across the country. You go to savingstar.com to sign up if you have not already signed up. And for some stores, they actually work where I don't even have to use an app. I don't have to submit anything. They're like a mail-in rebate, but no work required for some stores. For other stores, we're gonna do some work and I'll get there in a second. But CVS, this is a great example of how these apps pair in because this week I can get a freebie using a Saving Star coupon. And with Saving Star and CVS, I don't do any work. So I'm gonna go to savingstar.com, I'm gonna create an account, and I'm gonna get out my CVS card. Now if you have long lost your CVS card, we actually have to have it at this moment, but you can call CVS customer service or whatever store's customer service, you can call them, and they can give you your card number, even if you have not seen your official CVS card in 10 years, they can give you the number over the phone, that's all we need to be able to plug it into the Saving Star account when I first sign up for it. I enter my CVS card number. They work with other stores like this too, so Food Lion, Rite Aid. I'm not gonna do any work because I'm telling them my CVS card number. I go to CVS, I buy the items at CVS, I scan my CVS card the way I normally would check out, and CVS is gonna tell Saving Star what I bought. CVS is gonna say, hey, Jenny Martin bought this item and qualifies for this deal. Um, so Saving Star is gonna make it super easy to use at certain stores. Now, if I'm not at CVS, just to kind of go there for a second before we get into the deal, if I'm not at CVS, um, then I am gonna work based off the app. 
So I'm going to come home. I'm going to take a picture of my Publix receipt or my Bilo receipt. And it may take a couple pictures to get the whole receipt on there. But I'm going to take a picture of my receipt. I'm going to upload that to their mobile app. And then I get the money back the same way. But back to CVS, where I enter the card number, I don't even have to take the picture. CVS tells Saving Star what I bought. There's only one step I have to do. And that is that you need to get in the habit of going to Saving Star's site and clicking the little buttons to load the coupons. If you have not loaded the coupons, you cannot earn the money. But that's your only step. I don't need to do anything to submit these deals in the end if I'm shopping at certain The deal this week, for example, I could go to CVS, I could buy Zantac Duo Fusion. It's a new product. Zantac is coming out hot and heavy with a ton of this brand new product. Um, so I can grab Zantac Duo Fusion. I think it's a 24 count bottle. It's on sale this week for $8.99. It's really its normal price. $8.99. You're going to get back a $2 extra care buck. That doesn't even factor in here, really, because we're going to make money on this bottle using the coupons. CVS came out with a new coupon today, uh, and we already posted this deal, by the way, um, earlier today on Southern Savers. So you can go to southernsavers.com and you'll find the breakdown completely um, for this exact deal. But I can print a $3 off CVS store coupon. I'm gonna go into the store oh, and I can get a $1 off manufacturer's coupon. So let's get all the coupons. Do a Fusion, $8.99. I'm going in with a $3 off and a $1 off coupon. A store and a manufacturer, which I am allowed to use together on one product, and that's at every store, not just CVS. That's uh, drug stores, grocery stores, Target, anywhere you're shopping, store and manufacturer. That's a basic. So $8.99 minus $4 worth of coupons. I'm gonna pay $4.99 in the store. Then I'm getting back a $2 reward. So I'm basically out $2.99 right now on this product. Saving Star has a $4 off coupon that I'm gonna get back. CVS is gonna tell Saving Star, hey, she bought this Duo Fusion. I'm getting back $4. I don't even have to do anything. So I paid $2.99 basically after the reward. I still get back $4 from Saving Star. So I want to pair in that third level, the sale, the, prom the promo, the coupons, plus um, adding in that mobile app offer as well because it gets added on to the top of everything else. That's just one example. There are a lot of other examples. There's actually a really fun deal for folks that shop at participating stores. It's not everywhere right now. But some select stores, um, Saving Star actually has a freebie offer uh, for, and I'm trying to remember what it is because it's not a brand I've ever purchased before. Pulling it up now, Pop Corners. It's brand new. They look like little pita chips, um, but it's 100% back in Saving Star money in your account uh, when you buy the item. Um, for me, it comes up as only being valid at Publix when I log into Saving Star. But before you say you don't have a Publix, it's actually across the country uh, at various stores. And for folks that are watching on the Google Hangout, I will um, share my screen just so you can see the deal that I'm specifically talking about. So for me, it says only at Publix on these pop corners. Um, but on for other folks, when you log into your Saving Star account, I've heard I've seen folks email me that say it's good at Harris Teeter. I've seen folks say it's good at Albertsons. So log into your Saving Star account, and you should see where this Pop Corners is good for you. But it is only at select stores. Um, so if you're not seeing it at all, then you probably don't live near one of the participating stores. But it is different for different people. Like um, Kelly just said in the Facebook comments, for her it was only at Harris Teeter. So it's definitely, you know, it's got some differences based on geographic location. But it's a freebie. Now, how does this work? Uh, I go into the store. I buy the pop corners. First, I select the I want this button so that it loads it into my account. You'll see the coupon magically turn green. Uh, and now it's activated. I go into the store. I buy the pop corners, I pay for them in the store, 
and then I'm gonna submit my receipt. Now for me, this is a Publix deal. So for Publix, I'm gonna come home, I'm gonna take a picture of my receipt and upload that through the Saving Star mobile app. You can also submit them through their website. So if you aren't uh, mobile friendly or whatever, you don't have to use a phone if you don't want to, but their app is pretty easy to use. I submit it through the app and I get that money back. Now someone's already asked a question on um, Facebook, how do I get this money back? Um, so Stacy, to answer that question, how we get our money back, um, I have earned the money, and the money is like in a pretend little savings account now with Saving Stars. So I earned my $4 at CVS, and I earned my whatever on the pop corners, probably like two fifty, three bucks. Um, I earned that. When you have $10 saved up in the various things that you've bought, I can get it back um, through Saving Star, through the app, or through their website by just clicking one button. They do a direct deposit to your bank. They do a couple of other options too, um, but direct deposit is what most of us use. You just need to meet the threshold for them for payment, which is usually about a $10 threshold for most of the apps, and they all have a different level as to what their threshold is. Um, Kelly asks, how long does it take to come back to you? If you do the direct deposit, it's in your account within the next day. You'll usually see it. Um, maybe two days is what they tell you, but for most folks, you see it within that 24-hour period. Kind of depends on what day you pick. Obviously, if I select on a Friday night, I'm not going to see it in my account really until Monday. Um, but it's pretty fast. Some of us also leave it there for a long time. It can be like your Christmas slush fund. You do not have to take it out very often. Um, so that kind of answers your question, Rachel, right away, uh, is how much do you save it up before you withdraw it? I've done a couple of things. So Saving Star has been around for probably about six years now, not always on the mobile app part. It used to only work based on card, and then they kind of went towards the mobile app part. Um, with Saving Star, I used to leave it there all the time and not get it out until Christmas time. So it was like my Christmas slush fund. I really already paid all the money for these items in the store, and you would kind of forget about it. We would usually end up with about 100 to 120 in there by the end of the year. And I'm not always running out and getting every single deal that popped up either, just the occasional deal that happened to line in with the things that we were already grabbing. Um, lately, I've been getting it out whenever I see it build up. No real reason as to why I switched, just kind of how we handle it. Um, but you can go either way. So for me, lately, whenever I hit the 10 bucks, I'm just going ahead and sending it on to um, to the direct deposit. And I know, Stacy, you're saying I'm not really comfortable sharing about account information. I don't know if it helps on the Saving Star side. Now, I don't work for them. Uh, I, have, I do know them on a corporate level. I can send them an email, that kind of knowing them. But um, they are owned by the people who own You Promise. So they've been around for a really long time. They're uh, a college savings program originally, and then they spun off to create Saving Star for the folks that didn't really want to have the focus of saving on college, but wanted to have the focus on, like, I want the money now. Give me my grocery savings right now, not 10 years from now when my kids go to college, which I have to agree on that one. I don't, it's going to buy a book when my kids go to college. Just let me have the savings now. Um, so for me, I don't really have issues with them when I know they're a trusted brand. They've been around for a really long time, but I can't understand the hesitation. There are other ways to get your money out other than a direct deposit. So you do not have to choose the direct deposit option, um, but it is the easiest of all of the options. Um, so just so we've kind of fully covered it. Now, before we move on from Saving Star, because uh, they have a lot of options for you to save through and a ton of coupons, there are three types of offers with Saving Star. Uh, one is just specific off of a certain product, like the Zantac that I already mentioned that makes for a moneymaker at CVS right now. The other kind of savings is off of a, a whole group of items. Um, so for folks on the Google Hangout, I'm gonna share my screen again. Um, but with the whole group of items, one particular offer, I've actually met it, and you can see on my screen if you're watching on the Google Hangout, um, it's a Sally Hansen deal that is running through August, really, 
buy $15 worth of Sally Hansen nail color and get a $4 back in your Saving Star account. This kind of offer is really the best, most fun, amazing offer that Saving Star has because it's all, again, before coupons. So you go into the store, you could buy that Sally Hansen nail polish on sale with a drugstore reward and have a bunch of coupons. We did a few weeks ago. Uh, you might buy $15 with a nail polish, but really only pay maybe like six when it's all said and done after the rewards and after the coupons you're still gonna get the $4 reward back because Saving Star bases it on the sale price of the item, not the reward, not the after coupon price. So when you see these rewards, they're, they're actually easy to obtain. I've already earned this one, so if you're looking at my screen share, you can kinda see I've, I've met the $15 requirement, I've earned the $4 back. There are other types of rewards here too, so Purex, laundry detergent, you buy, $15 worth of Purex products and you earn $5 back. Again, that $15 is after the sale, but before all the coupons. So you've got coupons on Purex or maybe Target's giving you a gift card deal on them, whatever, they don't care. You buy the $15 in Purex, you're going to earn the extra $5 back. So that's the fun part about the other types of offers that Saving Star has. And then I mentioned the pop corners. If you log into your account, you'll see um, they have a 100% back offer right now. Um, oh, and Stacy, you're asking on the Facebook Live. I can't screen share on Facebook Live, but if you head to Southern Savers, there's a login option where you can actually watch through a Google Hangout, which is on your computer and not usually on your mobile phone or your iPad. You just have two options. It's, it's tricky. Um, but it does give me the ability to kind of let them see more things. There's one other type of coupon, and that is the percentage off. So our 100% our back on the pop corners. They also run an offer on fruit or, or veggies or produce every single week. It differs. This week's is on lemons and limes. You get 20% back on lemons and limes. That offer, though, heads up, changes every Tuesday. So right now, it is lemons and limes, but tomorrow morning, it will be different. So every single Tuesday, a new offer on produce, you load it to your account, you buy the produce, and you're gonna get 20% back on your fresh produce of whatever they've picked for that week. And they kind of rotate through, so in all honesty, if you're looking at a fruit today, which is lemons and limes, you're probably gonna see a vegetable tomorrow. So I'm probably gonna see onions or peppers or potatoes but it's still fresh produce and it's 20% back. So you should definitely be using that one. I saw a Facebook meme this morning um, that was someone saying uh, that they were, you know you're crunchy when you don't use any coupons because there are no coupons for fresh produce. Yes, there are. Um, so I wanted to sit there and comment back on the meme, but they were really only posting it to get traffic to their site and my comment would have added to the mix. Uh, on helping that um, there are coupons for fresh produce and for other ways to save. We've done whole hangouts on produce and meat. Um, so if you have questions on that, you can always go to the Facebook videos tab or to YouTube and you can watch all of those and see how do we save on produce and meat. You can do it. Um, so, and for folks who are just tuning in on Facebook, the app that we just discussed was Saving Star. And if you missed it, you can always come back and watch when we're done. Um, to kind of move on to other apps, and let me make sure I've caught all the questions to, um, let's see, some folks are asking specifically about Shopkick. Um, I was wondering if you knew why certain apps will no longer work for purchases at Harris Teeter and CVS, along with a list of other stores. I was using Shopkick um, and some of the others, and then they stopped working. Um, so I do, I don't know about Shopkick not working at specific stores. Shopmium uh, is one in particular that some folks were using and Shopmium no longer works at Publix, CVS, Harris Teeter. It's a long list of stores. The reason Shopmium was bought um, by coupons.com, which is the number one provider of paper coupons, and just like I mentioned with Saving Star, how we want to actually stack them with coupons and with sales and get that extra incentive with mobile apps, Shopmium did not want you to do this. 
And so Shopmium doesn't work with any store that does not itemize your receipt down. Meaning if I check out in Walmart, you'll notice now how Walmart's changed their receipts and I buy something and I use a coupon on it and the coupon actually ends up showing up right underneath the item. Even though I use the coupon at the very bottom, you would think it should be at the bottom of your receipt. Walmart is pushing it to be underneath the item that you bought so that the manufacturer, so whoever else can see, you used a coupon on this in the store. Well, that's what Shopmium wants to be able to see so they know whether or not you used a coupon so they can negate your mobile app offer. They do not want you to um, be able to stack the offers. Coupons.com is never a fan of that, um, even on a retail, like online side of things. So they kind of, when they bought Shopmium, that was the huge thing they changed and it negated Shopmium for a lot of us. I actually pulled Shopmium from the Southern Savers database when they did that. It's too tricky. There are too many stores that Shopmium's not working at, and it makes it too difficult for those of us that are trying to save money as it gets just confusing. Can I use this here? Can I not use this here? You go and buy something only to realize you were in the wrong store. We just don't need to go there. There are a lot of apps that we can use, um, so that one kind of becomes... Uh, in a sense, uh, an app that you can almost just delete from your phone. It's just not going to be good at a number of the stores that most of us are in. Um, so check out 51. Let's go there next, which Tammy commented on. You know, they're rejecting because of coupons too. So check out 51 does, ha or sorry, has recently had a lot of Procter & Gamble offers on their app. And Procter & Gamble as well does not like you to be able to use multiple offers stacked on top of each other. And Procter & Gamble is one of the most difficult um, brands when it comes to coupon redemption. They're the number one brand that will reject coupons and not pay stores, even if they were legitimately used. They're very difficult with stores. Um, so with Checkout 51, it's just Procter & Gamble offers, and it's not even all of them. So don't panic. Uh, in no way am I you know, pulling the plug on Checkout 51 here. It's just those select offers on Procter & Gamble offers, like the gain offer, for instance, on those, make sure you pay attention to your shopping list on Southern Savers because I'm even writing it in, um, cannot be used with any other offer. So that hopefully you can spot that I, I can't stack these together. I can't use the coupon in the store and come home and use the mobile app on this. It's not gonna work. But we're talking about like three of all of the Checkout 51 offers, and there are a lot of offers on Checkout 51 now. They were recently bought by SmartSource, so we're seeing all of the major players in printable coupons moving in to mobile offers um, because they get it. They get that this is where things are going, so they want to be a, a part of it. Um, and when they move in, it's actually a good thing. They're bringing a lot of new brands with them. Um, Procter & Gamble was never in the mobile space. And Smart Source has brought them in, which is great to see. They just have to kind of iron that out and figure it out. So let's walk through Checkout 51. Someone's asking about Ibotta. Ibotta and Checkout 51 are almost identical. Um, so as we talk about each of these, I'm going to kind of ref keep referring back to the concept of how they work. So... Um, I go into the store, I buy an item, I use a coupon on the item, I come home, and I submit these mobile apps. That's the basics in case you're just chiming in. So these mobile apps do not come off of the register. They come off because you take a picture of your receipt and you upload it to their mobile app. Um, Checkout 51, by the way, I can upload online. So if you do not have a mobile phone or you don't want to use your mobile phone for it, you can use their website as well. Also, for anyone that has a tablet, I don't have to have a phone. I just have to have a tablet that can take pictures, uh, and you'll be fine. So don't panic if you haven't entered uh, into small computer in your hand mode where this is all you do all day long. Um, but with Checkout 51 and Ibotta, just keep in mind, it is after the sale, after the coupon, I still get to use this mobile offer. I can, I come home, I take a picture, and I upload it. Now the offers that are there are all over the board. You'll find 25 cents off bananas, and it's any kind of banana. Or I find a dollar off of gain detergent, and it's, that, it's pretty specific. So I grab the things that I want to grab, and then I take that picture. I can have one thing on my receipt. I can have 10 things on my receipt. doesn't matter. 
take the picture, upload it to the app, and you get your money. Your money is in a little account, just like it was with Savings Star. Little account, when I've earned enough, I get it back. Checkout 51 is still check-based, and they should change this um, sometime by the end of the year and become to where we can get this out online. But right now, it's check-based. You reach $20 threshold, you get a check in the mail. Ibotta is you reach a $10 threshold and you get it back via PayPal through your phone. Just push the button, it's in your account via PayPal. So there's lots of different quirks, or not quirks, but um, everybody has a different threshold. Everybody kind of has a little thing to, to note. Um, Sam is mentioning on the Google Hangout, you know, to take note that if you leave these these accounts sitting there and they're dormant, so if I sit here and I use Saving Star for a little while and then I stop using it, it's a dormant account and it can lose money. Yes, uh, it can. So if you're going to get into Ibotta and then I'm going to just drop it and never do anything with it again, that can end up being where they take your money away after a while. But their dormant clause is around uh, like. I think it's a year for Saving Star. It's a year for a, num a number of the other apps. So you can always read the fine print if that's your concern. But for most of us that are submitting at least one receipt every couple months, you're fine. It is not going to go anywhere. It's not going get, to get brought down. Um, and Rachel, your question mark on the threshold. So it's $20 threshold for Checkout 51. It's a $10 threshold for Ibotta. Uh, a $10 threshold for Saving Star. Just they're all kind of different, but we earn that little bit of money and then we can get it back when we hit the threshold. Checkout 51 is actually my favorite over Ibotta. So everybody always asks kind of to rank these. The reason for that is that every Thursday, Checkout 51 puts new offers in and refreshes some offers. But if it refreshes, you get to do it again. If I bought it last week and I submitted it last week and I open up my app on Thursday morning and it's back in there, I can buy it again. Uh, so that is the of Checkout 51. Um, now Stephanie's asking which one's better, Saving Star or Checkout 51. That's a tricky one because Saving Star does work with some stores card based where I don't have to do any work whatsoever like we mentioned with CVS. Saving Star kind of takes the cake for me on that one because I don't have to think about it. I do not have to get out a receipt and take any pictures of that receipt later. I like that part. But remember, I can do these on top of each other. So this is pretend, don't try to do this, it doesn't exist. But if I had a Zantac Checkout 51 offer, I could still go to CVS and still use all the coupons in the store and then come home and get my Saving Star money and then submit my receipt to Checkout 51 and get money from them. So I can actually do multiple mobile apps with the same receipt, even on the same products. They don't care and they don't know. Um, but so don't feel like you have to pick one or the other, but Saving Star does kind of win over Checkout 51 just if you are in one of the card-based stores which CVS is one of my two. I am I do all of my grocery shopping in either Publix or Bilo, and all of my drugstore shopping in CVS. So to be able to get all of those Saving Star offers from CVS without having to think about it, all I need to do is just click the button to load them. That's super easy, and I, I'm not ever gonna complain at that. I wish Publix and Bilo were card-based, but they are not. Um, so Publix and Bilo, I am taking pictures of my receipt and I am uploading them to the various apps. Um, so we've hit Saving Star, we've hit Checkout 51, Ibotta, I've hit most of Ibotta. It works exactly the same way as Checkout 51, but Ibotta is the only app that makes us jump through some hoops. Um, so if I want to use the coupon on Baby Wipes, I'm making this one up, Usually I'm going to have to learn a fact or take a poll or watch a little short video. I don't ever watch them. I don't ever pay attention to what I'm clicking. I just take a poll and I pick something and I give them an answer. I don't care. Um, but I click the little buttons. You've got to jump through that hoop to be able to unlock the offer. So just be ready for that. Ibotta technically will say that you need to unlock the offer before you buy it. You don't. You just need to unlock it that day. So unlock the offer the day you bought it, you're fine. I do not unlock any of my offers before I shop. I unlock them sitting in the car after I've bought items or as soon as I get home and I'm lining them all up. 
It's not a crisis moment if you forgot to unlock the offer. I've even loaded Saving Star coupons to my account before I uploaded the picture. You still get the money back, so don't panic if you forget a step or you get out of order. You'll still get the savings. Just be ready to take that poll or to ignore it and push a button on the poll or whatever to unlock the offers for Ibotta. Ibotta has hundreds of offers. Think in the like four to 500 range offer. Uh, and they're not all groceries. So before we move on out of Ibotta, I, do, I don't wanna miss that because there are a lot of coupons that are actually available for other stores like Best Buy if you're doing any back to school shopping um, and some eateries and clothing stores and these even work in the store so Best Buy a QR code pops up and they scan it at the register I don't even have to get the savings back in a different way I get it right then um, so don't miss the other stores that aren't just groceries um, we can use Ibotta to save even more. If I click Walmart to buy bananas, but I buy them from Food Lion, will it still work? So Kelly, I'm guessing this is inside of Ibotta. Uh, Ibotta does break out all of their offers by store, but yes, I can still, as long as the bananas show up under Food Lion, you can still buy them at another store. Um, that's the the tricky part with Ibotta, yes, they have 600 offers, but not all 600 are available at Publix or at Walmart. So some of them are very store specific, and Ibotta has a lot of these. Um, so I do need to make sure before I buy them in a different store that I um, have gone under that store to make sure that the coupon is available for the store that I'm actually shopping in before I just load a whole bunch of Ibotta offers thinking, yes, I can buy bananas anywhere. Not necessarily. So always pull up and see what's available at the store that you're going to shop in versus just thinking that you saw it in Ibotta so it's good at any store. That's not the case. Um, let me make sure I've caught everybody's questions. Um, I think we have. Do I have any tips on how to remember which offer to take a picture of on your receipt? Um, so you may not like this tip, but it's my little shameless plug here. But my tip is my, my Southern Savers shopping list. So if you're using Southern Savers, you've made your shopping list for Publix or you've made your shopping list for CVS, we're going to plug those mobile app offers on your shopping list. It, you won't miss them. They're there. No, I didn't use them in the store, um, but you can do a few things. When you're getting your coupons together, if you find that you're missing mobile apps a lot, when, I, when you get your coupons together, you know, grab a pen, grab a highlighter, whatever it is, and either you know, star your mobile apps or highlight your mobile apps so that when I get home, I know here's my shopping list and I have four things highlighted bright pink so that I don't miss those mobile app offers. That's kind of my go-to. I've gotten into a highlighter for a couple of reasons. One, I've been teaching my children to cut all of my coupons for me. So I highlight for them the RPs and the dates so that they know these are insert coupons and they know when to find them. It kind of brings it out for them. But I also go ahead and highlight those mobile apps on the shopping list, bright what a hand, so that I can't miss them. I definitely redeem them. Um, let's see. When... Um, Okay, so someone has a question about CVS store coupons. Um, so, Carissa, the coupon that I mentioned earlier, which is the $3 off CVS store coupon on the Zantac, that's a printable that just came out um, over the weekend. But sometimes CVS does have coupons that print at the coupon center. And for those coupons that print at the coupon center, it is hard. They do not print for every single person. We all kind of get different ones. Um, so the best way to find out what's going to print for you at CVS, since we're talking apps, is to download the CVS app. It's free. It's, it's probably one of the better store apps to get. And we can definitely go store apps here next to just segue into store apps. Um, but CVS's store app, when you log in, it's going to show you every coupon that is in your account this week. And those are really the coupons that would have printed for you at the CVS Coupon Center, 
you can go paperless and I can actually just send them all to my card from the app or I can still stop by the CVS coupon center and I would get those offers. But at least this way, Carissa, you're not running into the store hoping that a coupon prints. You actually know whether or not it's going to print for you. It's showing up in the app or not. So that's going to save duration of getting to CVS running to the coupon center and you didn't get the magical $5 off $35 worth of diapers that some of us are getting. Um, but that is the frustrating part with CVS store coupons is that they can vary definitely based on people. Um, okay. Is there any charge to use PayPal? Which is a great question. So Ibotta, you know, gives us our money back on PayPal. Saving Star does PayPal. A lot of folks are going there. Uh, no charge to use PayPal. You link it to your bank, but it kind of gives you that security part between the vendor. I bought so I bought a doesn't know your bank account information. They just know your PayPal account, which is really just an email address. They're sending money to your email, um, and then PayPal knows whose email that money goes to. No charge unless in PayPal you send somebody money via business uh, to, to handle a charge out of it, but not for most things. So most things you're just going to get all your money back, no monthly fee, uh, unless you start using it on the business side of things and then they do start to charge you. Um, okay. So Ibotta seems to reset their rebates once you've used them. So for the right guard deodorant, I've done that deal at Walmart three times now and another set of coupons and Ibotta to go. So Yes, Ibotta does reset, um, just not as often as Checkout 50. In all honesty, sometimes with Ibotta, they never reset. It really depends on the brand's budget. So if the brand wants to put out a whole bunch of coupons and people just aren't using them enough, and you are, then they will gladly reset to let you print more. We see the same thing with printable coupons, really. Coupon budget, no one's printing these particular coupons. So towards the middle of the month, they'll tend to reset them. And then toward right at the end of the month, they'll reset them again, hoping that they can just meet up the rest of that brand's budget and not really caring that the same people have been the ones redeeming them or using them. So that's kind of what they're doing. Um, okay. So I think we're caught up there. Um, How come with Food Lion or Lowe's, you have to enter a, re a rewards card number? Um, so that's specifically related to Ibotta. Ibotta has tried to go card-based with some stores, which is what Saving Star has actually done too. It's really, it's kind of a perk for you. I don't have to take a picture of my receipt. They're supposed to tell them what you've bought and handle it for you. So it's, it, they're trying to make it easier versus, um, Harder. So don't look at having to enter that store savings card number as a problem. Uh, they're really trying to take you. So, and with Ibotta, that's very select stores, not a lot of them at all. Um, so Food Lion and Lowe's Foods being two, but not a lot of others that work that way. Everyone else with Ibotta, we're lining up our picture and we're taking that big old receipt that might be five or six pictures to get the whole picture, the whole receipt in there. Um, so that's what it is, is they're just trying to make the whole process a little easier on you. So well, let's go store, um, different store specific apps that can definitely save a little bit too. Cause we mentioned CVS, uh, Whole Foods is another one. If you're a regular Whole Foods shopper, they are pushing hard for folks to download their app and they're doing it by offering new coupons every single week. Sometimes the coupons aren't that great, and then sometimes we get $5 off $15 worth of produce. Whole Foods is like 50 minutes away for me, but if I was in the neck of the woods, I would be using that coupon. Um, so grab the app if you're definitely, even if you're just driving by, it's worth checking into to see what are the current coupons for this week, especially if it's a $5 off produce offer from Whole Foods. So CVS and Whole Foods would definitely be in the store apps to grab. Uh, Target would be another one if you're a regular Target shopper. If you're not, that's okay, don't grab it. But Target Cartwheel, uh, we get a lot of extra savings using their Cartwheel app. This is really like store sales. Um, so if you've never used Cartwheel, it is 
your own set of sales. There are hundreds of offers there too, uh, some of which are really high value. They came out with three just yesterday that are 50% off the value of the product. Uh, done. No work required on this. So you go into the store, they scan your app at the register, and I get that 50% off right then. Uh, this isn't money back in a certain account. This is really a whole extra set of coupons to be using at the register in Target. Um, I can print that as well. So if I don't have a phone to show in the store, I can just print out that barcode. Uh, and show that in the store too. But that's how Cartwheel is going to work. Hundreds of offers. You do have to load them before you check out. Or obviously when they scan it at the register, it won't take anything off. But it's your own set of coupons to be using. And before we move on on that one, remember that Target Cartwheel offers can still be used with a store coupon and a manufacturer's coupon. So you go in and you use a Cartwheel, a store, and a manufacturer all on one item. And then I come home and I submit for a savings star or an Ibotta checkout 51 so we can pair all of these together. Um, so yes, cartwheel and a manufacturer and a store, it's a huge way to save even more on specific items throughout the store uh, and lots of offers. Um, because there are so many, just to kind of give you a heads up on how I would handle that before we move on, and I'm going to screen share for my Google Hangout folks again. Um, but if you're looking in Target Cartwheel, you can actually sort Cartwheel um, to look just at like the values, basically. Um, and woo, for me, it looks very different than the last time that I logged in. They're messing with me. I always look at it on my phone. Um, but you can kind of come in and say, I only want to look at high values. Uh, I only want to look at what's going to expire soon and kind of, you know, pare down from there however you'd like. Um, and right now, like, I'm looking at it by category so we can sort by food. Um, there are lots of offers in here. Um, and even in food, we have tons of breakdowns. So yeah, there we go. Once we sort by category, you'll see a drop down that says newest, trending, expiring, and discount. Um, so I want it to sort by discount. Tell me what is the best offer possible. I don't want to waste my time looking at 700 offers. It's just way too much. But yes, I do want to see the 50% off dark cocoa cereal, 40% uh, off offers. And then remember that these can be paired with manufacturer's coupons. Um, so one, it's not you know super healthy, but we all probably have it in our pantry. Uh, hamburger Helper. This week, 30% off cartwheel offer, plus we have a manufacturer's coupon for Hamburger Helper, plus we have a saving star offer for Hamburger Helper. Once we pair all three of those together, we and it's on sale, you're gonna end up with it for about 40 cents a box. Um, it's a great one to have on hand for the night that mama has lost her mind. This is just super easy dinner. Um, so lots of offers there too. So CVS, Whole Foods, and Target become kind of my three big store apps to make sure that you grab in terms of uh, saving more in a particular store. Um, do you have to print Target store coupons? So Tiffany, there are some Target store coupons that we can print from their website. There are also Target coupons that come in the Sunday paper, depending on the cities that you live in, uh, and some that will be in the Target weekly ad. Um, so lots of offers. Shelly, I love your comment. I can completely agree with you. Shelly on Facebook says, I mostly just use Target coupons at Publix. My Publix does not take Target coupons, but my Bilo does. Um, so that is where all of my Target offers are used. I wish they took Cartwheel, but they won't take Cartwheel as a competitor. But all of your Target printables, all of your Target in-ad coupons, they will take them. So for example, if you had a coupon for $5 off any $15 purchase of PepsiCo or Lay's products, which is the in-ad coupon this week for Target, I could take that five off 15 coupon to Bilo. Bilo would take that as a competitor coupon. And Bilo is about to have Pepsi two liters on sale for 88 cents, Pepsi 12 packs or three bucks a piece. So you could really get stocked up using um, the Target competitor coupon in a different store. Um, so that's the fun part with uh, all the Target store coupons, definitely. Um, so let's jump 
back over here. Um, I've heard, this is Elizabeth, uh, I've heard you say a couple of the best places to buy meat in bulk. Um, so what were they? So Elizabeth, meat question, not app question, but how do we save on meat? Um, my favorite place on meat is Zaycon, which is zaconfresh.com, Z-A-Y-C-O-N fresh.com. And Sam kind of answered that for you in the chats too. Um, but we can buy meat in bulk through them. They have drop sites all over the US or to see if you have a restaurant supply store in your area. In my neck of the woods, we have a US Foods Chef store, and I can buy fresh, uh, you know, boneless, skinless chicken breast for like $1.10 a pound. It's a bulk, though. I'm coming home with 40 pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breasts that are fresh, that never frozen, same thing your grocery store sells, but they don't sell it for $1.10 a pound. Um, so those are my go-tos uh, in terms of saving on meat. So not everyone knows that the cartwheel barcode is unique to you. Yes, um, this is a huge tip. So with your Target cartwheel barcode, this is if you don't, like for me, if I go into Target, uh, the odds of me getting good internet in Target is slim. I think they paint the roof with like internet reflective rays so I can never download anything in the store. Your, cart, your cartwheel barcode that I can print off their website versus using the app, is always the same, it never changes. It doesn't matter that I have four things loaded today and 10 things tomorrow, it's my barcode. So you can print it, I have a friend on Facebook that works for Target, you can laminate it and make it like your own Target card um, that they scan at the register. I do not have to have Cartwheel on my phone. I do not have to pull it up on my phone. That barcode, as long as you have it, you're good to go. So Sam has said in chat, that print it and taped it to the back of another store card so always have the barcode with uh with you um yes that's kind of the super fun way to handle if you're having internet issues definitely or you don't even want to deal with the phone because usually i'm dealing with children as i check out uh any deals on freezers to store all of this meat that we're buying in bulk uh, now is not the best time for freezers crystal but we will see them if you can hold out for probably a couple more months. We'll start to see some good freezer deals in September and October when they're starting to kind of clear out some extra space in uh, stores for Christmas gear. Right now with it being back to school season, we're not gonna see a lot of really great sales on that. They're putting deals on laptops and everything else that you want for back to school time. Um, but not this moment. We will see some though and always on Black Friday if you can hold out for that too, which I know is a little bit further along than you might wanna go. Um, so Cher asked on Facebook, what about cosmetic deals? Cosmetic deals for me are always going to be in CVS. We're going to see some really great ones after rewards, after coupons. That would be where I would head to look the most, um, for those particular items, just as a fast answer for you. And Shelly asked a specific on the target, will they take, um, the buy $25 and get a $5 gift cards for the competitor coupons? It's really gonna depend on your store. So if I'm in a Publix or I'm in a Bilo and I have this $5 Target gift card when I buy $25 worth of something competitor coupon, it's up to your store whether they wanna take it or not. Uh, my Bilos will without a problem. Now I already mentioned my Publixes do not accept Target as a competitor. It drives me slap crazy because they share a wall with Target. If there's any more of a competitor, I, I don't know how to make it, um, but they won't take them. Bilo will, and my Bilo will accept them. It's just really going to depend on your store as to whether they'll take the gift card ones or not versus just dollars off your total purchase. They would always take that. Um, okay, so Jolene asks, I heard that Walmart only accepts printouts that have yellow dots on them, and now I'm worried about printing out coupons, period. Um, Jolene, they'll take any printable that scans. As long as it scans at the register. I don't have a color printer. I have not had a color printer for coupons in probably six or seven years. So no yellow dots for me, and they'll be just fine as long as it scans at the register. On that note, uh, that reminds me, I wanted to make sure that everyone heard tonight that my favorite printer for coupons is a crazy good price this week at Staples. Um, so this is the Brother printer. You can get the the wireless or the not wireless, either one. The, the non-wireless version is on sale for $59. The wireless is $99, but it gets better. 
Um, so it's a Brother 2320 is the not wireless, uh, and 2720, I don't know, I'm making up the end one there, but they're, they're Brother laser black and white printers. They do not print color, only black and white. They are amazing little champs of printers. 59 for the not wireless, 99 for the wireless, but wait. There's an in-ad coupon, so we can go two ways with this. If you go to the store, there's an in-ad coupon this week for the Staples ad that you earn 25% back on your entire purchase in Staples Rewards. So 59 bucks is already around the best price we see on this printer, but then you're gonna get 25% back in rewards. It makes the wire or the wired version not the wireless version it makes it about 45 bucks after awards which is an amazing price it comes with toner that's going to print about 700 sheets and replacement ink for these guys uh cost maybe 10 bucks on amazon that's the reason you switch and you'll only have to replace once a year it'll print about 2,000 sheets before it needs to be replaced they're amazing printers love them um so $45 after rewards for the wired version or the one that's 99 bucks, we have two options. There's a coupon code if you wanna use it online for, um, there, my husband came on and super sweet and put it in the, in the comments on Facebook. Um, the, there's a coupon code that just came out for Staples for $25 off of any $100 purchase using a Visa checkout. So if you use Visa Checkout on Staples, you could get the wireless version for basically 75 after the coupon code, which is a really good version, a really good price for the wireless version. Um, I can still do the either one in the store with the rewards, um, but if you wanted to shop online, that 25 off $100 coupon code is your best bet for getting a really good one. The printers do come with toner, Tiffany. They print about 700 sheets of paper with the toner they come with. Um, and then you can replace that with a high yield cartridge that uh, costs about 10 bucks, just a no name high yield cartridge on, on Amazon, and that'll print between 1,500 and 2,000 sheets. So you will be very, very set. Um, okay, I've used several, so let's jump back into questions on apps. I wanted to make sure I mentioned that one because it's a really huge sale and it'll be off sale this week. So grab the printer if you've been on the fence. Um, I use several emailing accounts for couponing stuff, um, one of them being just a junk mail account, and PayPal has given my primary account. I signed up for MobiSave a few months ago, giving them a junk account, but they won't give me my money because your PayPal account has to be the address of um, your account, and you used a junk account to set it up. Um, do I have an, a solution? Um, so. Cindy, there really isn't a solution. Your MobiSave account, so MobiSave is another app. We didn't really talk about it, but it's exactly like Ibotta and Checkout 51. Your MobiSave account email must be the same as your PayPal email address. So your only option is to go through their customer service and change the email account that you're using um, to switch over. If it helps, um, well, I guess you do have another option. Let me regroup there. You can authorize a second email account in your PayPal account. If you wanna send, uh, or if I send you money right now, even from my email account, it's gonna say that it came from my husband's because he really set up our PayPal account and he authorized me as a secondary email account. So that could be an option for you, Cindy, is to go and do, um, the secondary option through PayPal versus changing it on the MobiSave side and see if that will help. Um, so how is the rebate given again for SavingStar? You're gonna go on to savingstar.com, you're gonna select the offers that you want, and then I'm going to either take a picture of my receipt after I bought it, or I'm gonna scan my card on card-based stores and I'm gonna get the money back that way. So that's how I earn the money. It's saved in an online account for you, which is how all of these work. And then when I get saved up, I'm gonna be able to get that money back out through PayPal or through a direct deposit. Um, okay, so I think we're all caught up on questions again. Um, Kelly's asking, how many printers do I have? Kelly, I have two, uh, I had to stop and think about that. 
we have one that's sitting in a corner waiting to go to someone um, that we don't use anymore. But we have two printers. One, I needed the fax scanner, copier, everything for work kind of things. But we have another that is the wireless version. I'm sitting in my dining room right now, and if I were to take the phone, which is plugged in so it doesn't die, and hold it up, it um, it lives under the buffet that's right here, just in the dining room. So you can come stay and sit and print coupons while you eat dinner with us. Uh, that's just how it works in our house. Um, but we, the only printers we own are Brother printers. I think I'm going to go try to get a job for them uh, when I give up on couponing. But uh, it is a great little printer. And while we're on that, too, there are um, a ton of back-to-school deals right now, not just in printer mode, but everywhere. So if you haven't clued in to back-to-school that's running, don't miss it. We only have probably about three more weeks. It goes very quickly. Back to school season is over within uh, like the second week of August. Your kids haven't even gone back to school, but they're done with the sales. Um, so don't be missing the penny items at Office Depot, 10 cent items at Staples, lots of buy one get one deals in the grocery stores on all sorts of things that you're needing. And heads up that you could be price matching these items too. So. Um, Staples has a 110% price guarantee, Best Buy, Target, Walmart, um, Toys R Us, they will all price match local and online retailers. Um, so lots of ways to get that item. Even if I get to Office Depot and they don't have any more of the 25 cent item, I could probably end up getting it somewhere else using a price match as long as it's a national brand product and not a product. Um, that's the only time that you're gonna get stuck not being able to grab it. But don't miss out on all the back to school items that are out there. Um, okay, so we're all caught up on questions and we're right here at 9.30, so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of call us for the night. But I will see you all back here Monday night, always at the same time, 8.30 to 9.30. Bring any questions you have. You can always email me, Jenny at southernsavers.com. Uh, or send a Facebook message if you're on Facebook. We I, I try hard to get back to all of them. Uh, and thanks, guys, for joining me tonight. I hope that I got a lot of questions answered. Uh, and if you have any more, you can always leave more comments on this video, too, and I'll get back to them either way. So I'll see you guys in a week.